Hello everyone. Hi Debbie. Hi Faye. All right. Yes, very well. Right, we're going to do something a little bit different this time. So this is a, a pre-recorded um, video for Friday night. Um, bank holiday weekend's about to start and so um, we thought we'd pre-record um, this one. So we launched our um, Friday challenge this morning um, and that is um, inspired by Paige Evans. So hopefully you've seen the lovely cut file that Paige um, designed for us exclusively for Twilight. That's still available to download from the website for free. And so this evening we're focusing on using scraps. So Debbie, you're already starting work on yours because we're going to be working with this lovely little, what's it called? Hexagon colour wheel? Yes. Yeah, I've called it hexagon colour wheel. It's um, it's quite a nice size. So I was thinking patchwork ish, but I'm keeping to the same. I'm keeping to three colours, but I don't know what background I'm going to use yet. I might have to make something. Yeah, love it. Right then, so I've got so I've put, um, cut lots of these, and I'm going to make a background the same. And I thought it might be good just to share quickly how I store my scraps. I think you do your similar to me Debbie yes, so yeah we've got um I store little pieces in these are Avery L pockets mm -hmm. so I store them by color blues yellows purples I've got blacks whites so I store them all by color in a little gray plastic tub and they stand upright so I can just flick through and then for larger pieces I've got these now these are is it totally Tiffany the storage yes system so these are 12 by 12 pockets for the larger pieces so we thought we'd do a, a bit of a challenge to use up scraps using some of these so Debbie, you're going for the warm tones. I, and I'm actually using um, Paige Evans papers. I think they are, oh, it's an older collection. I can't, um, let me see what it's called a moment. It is. Um, oh, I don't know. Wonder if, is it Wonders? Wonders, Wonders, yeah. Wonders yeah. yeah. So, um, and I can see on the website, so we've got a whole host of um, hexagon cut files. We've got the large colour wheel as well. So we, you do this one in one large colour wheel, but this is a series of smaller ones. Yeah. So I've cut nine. Oh, I don't know how many I've cut. I've cut you've got loads. loads. I've got loads. And I thought I might use some of this Vicky Booten mixed media ready-made background. So I think I'm going to go with yellows, blues, greens and use up some of my scraps. Right. So you said you're going warm, Steffi. I'm going to go cools. Now, did you just use totally random? I've got this. This is nice. This is... That's Vicky Booten, I think. I've it's not gone totally random this time at all. I've gone very... You've gone more uniform with... Yeah, because I love these papers so much. And I thought if I sit there with my scraps, I'll deliberate so long about what colour goes with what. And I've decided to just use just this paper. Just go random. But it would work really well with scraps. And I have got enough scraps to do it, but I've decided not to. I've got all sorts in here so I thought I might do some blues and some yellows is the plan um, and your background is what color is your background blues so it's the kind of yeah it's the blues and yellows it's this oh that's lovely Vicky Booten now you had a top tip, Debbie, where you cut all your triangles out. Yeah, I've I've cut all mine out. And I actually, I don't know if you can see that this is a bit 3D. I've put another one on the top, but I've cut them all on the scan and cut and it makes life an awful lot easier. 
yeah so you just cut a whole series of them out which i think yeah. is probably a quicker way it is if you've got um a piece of scrap that's big enough yes if you've got tiny actually, scraps yeah then it doesn't work and As what well. I kind of like about your cut files is that if you do want to use them to use up your scraps, all these little pieces just come in handy. Yeah. Which is why we don't throw them away. And I thought what I would do, I'll go through my album because I know we've we've both done lots of album, um, lots of pages that are scrap your scraps. Yeah. I mean, the... Um... The little ribbon one is the yeah that's the one that sprung to mind for me where we um we took tiny little strips of paper around a circle um and then just cut strips and staple stapled them on so it looked like false ribbon oh unless you uh had them too thin and you had to glue them <laughs> yeah <laughs> debbie i gave debbie the wrong measurements didn't i and um yeah unfortunately it's, all right. it's fine it was a laugh <laughs> it was okay we're laughing about it now we are so and then saturday we have our crops so that will be very interesting that will be very we exciting we've got like a whole week of events so yeah we've got a face-to-face yeah. -face crop on saturday we've still got challenges each day so we've had our challenge launched this morning, the Paige Evans inspired challenge. Mm -hmm. And then um, we've still got then three more days left of the cyber crop. And we've got some exciting lives. I'll have oh, to remind can. myself of the timetable. We've got Denise tonight, haven't we? Uh, no. No, um, hang on, for Friday, let's have a little look. I'm trying to get the timetable and I can share it. Um, I thought I'd save the, the image, but it's, it's definitely on our Facebook group. I'll just, I'll just check it now. We need to have a little look. I'll have a little look now. So Friday, uh, so Saturdays, who's Saturday evenings? Oh, um, Claire Murphy. The wonderful Claire. So oh, Claire's been nice. live Saturday so we'll night. All day and then we can come back and watch Claire. Brilliant. And then we've got another challenge on Sunday. And then finally, our crop finishes on Monday with a very special mini book class with Cal Summers. Oh, her mini books are just amazing, aren't they? Yeah, it is amazing. And I just thought we have been so lucky to have everybody join us and support us. We have been really. And then I was only thinking we're going to be starting to plan for the next one yes maybe a summer one i think we've done a summer we normally sort of do a Christmassy summer and spring yes. maybe yes we'll have yeah, to be inspired exciting. by the next one right i'm kind of working on three or four at the same time and doing a series of triangles all at once I did do a couple before I decided to use um, the page files and I, I genuinely did use my scraps and I found if you um, get the right size and you pile them on top of each other and use it as a template, that can be quicker. Ah, cut multiple at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And we do get asked quite a lot how best to back cut files and i think generally if you've got a digital cutting machine we if it's a if it's a title we tend to use the kind of inner pieces of the letters don't we as as templates yeah, yeah. and that's quite a quick way of doing it 
if you buy our pre-made cut files then i just tend to draw around the outside yeah of the cut file and then i cut inside the line because you only need a very small it's a very small gap isn't out it outline and generally what i like about the jenny wren cut files is they've got a fairly thick line i mean that's yeah. probably one of the finer ones but it's still easy to back yeah that was that was a conscious thing i did because decision. yeah because it's really hard isn't it sometimes backing them i wanted to people to be able to back them without it kind of um distorting because yeah. the very fine ones can distort quite a lot when you're trying to stick things on. Yeah, and I, I think the ones that are proven really popular are like the background designs. Yeah, I should have to get making some more, but I haven't had much time the last couple of years. We've no. been prepping for this crop, haven't we? Yes. So, yeah, Debbie, you kind of then, if you were cutting these, I'm thinking put sort of two pieces of card on top and you can almost. Yeah, yeah I do a few at a time. Cut a few at a time. Yeah. That's going to speed the process up. It's still a long process. <laughs> it still takes time, doesn't it? But I think it's so worth it when you've got back to cut files. They look so lovely when they're finished. They do. And what I sometimes do, and I know some people in our group do this as well, is um, the kind of back cut files in front of the TV. Yeah. And, and some then go around the whole outside if it's a title. So they back oh, the, right. whole of the title in the same paper. You know, yeah. that's a time saving thing as well. And do it in one piece. Yeah, that's yeah. a great idea. But this is certainly a good way to use up the scraps. So I'm kind of going for similar colours. These glues, the Nouveau glue, are absolute favourite. Debbie, I know you're waiting for. Mm, some I'm more waiting. Uh, mm, you're yeah. waiting for some more socks. So we sold out of the Nouveau glues, and I'm not bitter Debbie, at all. Debbie, <laughs> Debbie thought she was in line for one, and then it sold out. So. We have ordered more. Well, I did put it back in the shop. I said, if somebody else wants to buy it. So I was very good. You were you were in reserve. So they are very popular because they are very fine and they don't block. And I, I've got three or four on the go, I must admit, because they are my go-to. I've still got my cheapo metal. I mean, to be fair, these are pretty good. I've had this for ages, but I just fancy a Nouveau glue like everybody else. Yeah. I'm missing out. I know what you mean. Those little fine glues are good. You can refill those. I you know, but it's a complete nightmare refilling them. <laughs> to refill. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely never again. Do you keep the pin in the top of that, Debbie? No, it's got a little cover. It's got okay. a little plastic okay. thing that goes over, and it does keep it absolutely fine this um but it hasn't got anything shiny on the top and it doesn't look lovely no i it's this little diamond piece that we love because we like the bling don't we anything shiny anything shiny we're like magpies aren't we absolutely there's nothing wrong with that at all Actually, once you get these cut and you start sticking them on, you do get onto a bit of a roll and... I think it's quite therapeutic. It doesn't them on. take too long and I'm thinking the effect is going to be good. So, I've gone for all different types of blue pattern paper right um, here so we are loving seeing people's layouts and projects go up 
on the website. the website. It's amazing. So keep keep uploading them, everyone. Keep sharing them to the group. And the challenges are open until the 6th of May. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to enter. And then, and then we'll have to get the wheel out, won't we, Faye? We do spin the wheel. Mm -hmm. like Fortune here. Mm -hmm. Twilight HQ. Mm -hmm. It is funny. Oh, I didn't keep my... Oh, I've kept the triangle template. That's it. So I'm going to layer these up. I, this, I love this paper. This... Was this... um. Not storyteller, this is Vicky Putin. Yes, I think it might have been storyteller. Yes. Yeah, that's lovely. It's a really deep blue. It's like it's it. got a real shine to it. Yeah, it is really nice. Mm. Right, so... One, How two, many three, are you making of the four? Skins. Well, I've done four in blue. Yeah. Oh, you're doing it. shades of blue. That's nice. Yeah. So I've gone all different shades of blue on this one. And then I was going to then do shades of yellow just to complement the, oh, nice. the paper. I was debating that, but I didn't have enough undoing rainbows, but I didn't have enough um, purple papers. It's really funny, isn't it? It's hardly... Do you know, when I save up my scraps by colour, I often find it's purple that I don't have a lot of. Yeah. And maybe I, it's because I'm not drawn to those papers or they don't make as much purple. I don't think they make as much purple. I know um, somebody else said that um, they don't seem to make purple. Much. I know Vicky Bootner said that before about Tim no. Holt's distress inks and says we need more shades of ah. purple and lilac. And she would know. But he has just done the villainous potion. Yeah. The deep purple. So I think that was in response to wanting more purples. Right. So I've done that one. Some of these, that one's full. Of, I'm just wondering what's missing. Ah, that, this one. So are you making them all the same? I'd have to make them all the same. I, I yeah. get... Well, I was starting to make them all the same, but they are slightly different in the order. Ah. So. I've started. Similar I've made... but different, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm hoping when I... um. Because they're all the same, I'm hoping I can rotate them and get better patterns. So I'm going to make them all the same. Okay, yeah. And then hope that I can, because at the moment, putting them all down, you've got colours next to each other that are the same, and I can't have that. No, you've got your... Uh, I got my colour OCD. Colour, yeah. You got. You know what looks right to you. Yeah. Right, so we've got those... So that one's got one missing as well. It needs another one of these. And then that's my blues done. So actually, it hasn't taken as long as I thought because that is 20 minutes. And I'm thinking this is kind of enough. I wouldn't really want any more than... Yeah. Yeah. So 20 minutes for the blues, so that's not too bad at all. And then I'm thinking maybe just three in the yellow to form the background because I've got the blues here and I think that is going to look lovely. And then just a few yellows. So actually you can see how the different colourways work. So I've got my pack of yellow scraps. Now, these are quite bright yellows. And that's where it, I don't think I've got any colours touching that are the same. Ha ha. That's good. So 
So I need to make sure I've got big enough pieces in the yellows. That's quite a nice piece. I'm not sure about doing the triangles on all of them. What do you think? I, um, I guess it depends where they're positioned on the layout. Yeah, I need to decide where I'm going to put a photo. You might not want them all raised. I know what you mean. Um, I need to right, decide. Right, we're going to go So let's get this. I did get this site to try, but I don't know if it's going to be too yellow. Well, as a background mount. Mm -hmm. I'll just try it on there and see. It might be too too in your face. So. Steph would say more is more, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. Well, I did a more is more uh, layout on the last live, so... I do like a little bit as more as more. I can't, I can't deny it. Right, so now I'm going to cheat and layer these up and, like you say, cut out several at once. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it works on the on this background, or is it too bright? Um, I think it possibly detracts a little bit from your yeah. hexagons. I might do, um, do you know what I might do? I might do an inky background. Yes. How about just a little bit of the kissing technique, smooshing? Um, yeah, I and am wondering. In one colour, just in one colour as a background. Well, I'm debating um, a little bit of uh, sprinkling of brushes. Aha, Yes. I'll have to keep these all in the right order or I will be very sad if it gets. Right, that's all my yellows. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some more of these. So I am cutting. I need three of each. One. This could get messy now. Uh, yes, okay. I'm ready to see some brushes because actually in our last live people wanted to see how you did the brush show. So this is I just hope it works. <laughs> this is exciting. Right, so I'm gonna choose um one, two, three, four, five, and one other type of yellow. Brilliant red. Um, so you're going with the warm tones again. Yeah. Not turquoise. Warm. Yellow. And it must be an orange. So, hmm, scarlet. Orange. So I'm going brilliant red, yellow, and orange right this will be exciting to see yeah go for it oh no i'm not doing brilliant red i'm doing scarlet because brilliant red hasn't got a hole in it so you just do a tiny tiny hole in the middle um with something like a cocktail stick and then shake shake the powder out okay so almost just only one little almost like talcum powder in the sense yeah. now I spritzed a little bit of water can you see it yeah so water on the background before the brush show um i think you can do it differently i'm going to try it both ways i'm going to try okay. no water and then spritzing yeah so this is just putting it on the paper and then i'll spritz Love that. And with this one, I will spritz and then put a bit of yellow on. Oh, it does spread quite away. Ooh. Very reactive. Yeah. Right, so I'm just trimming around these. It is coming together quite quickly. Mm. 
right so that's some yellows coming together so next let's go this one so hopefully everybody's geared up for the bank holiday weekend well, let's hope the weather's nice yeah would be nice to have a thought that spring is finally here well it's been here and it's gone again hasn't it <laughs> it was here for for a day or two <laughs> yeah made this thing that was here and then it's fast disappeared These are actually much quicker to back than I thought. I think because they're such simple shapes, um, they actually back very quickly. And then anything that's overhanging the edge is quite easy to trim. I might do a little bit of smooshing as well, I think. I think it needs something else. What, with some acetate? <laughs> Yeah, I think I might. Now I've got the water, I, I might as well, did not I? <laughs> Are you making a mess? Oh, yeah. Keep going. I don't think I've got brushes on the computer yet. It's all right. Mm. Nearly done. Mm. This one. So, what we'd love on the group if people do have any other ideas for scrapbook layouts that are scrap your scraps, then we would love you to post them to the group because I think it will give everyone some ideas for this challenge. So, Paige Evans inspired scrap your scraps we thought that was a good combo i'm not going to be able to finish this because it's not going to dry is it ah so you'll have your background assembled and then yeah you have your background done just need it to dry so you can assemble it i don't think even putting this through a laminator is going to dry it that quickly <laughs> But it's good because people wanted to see how to use brush so I mean, it's a lovely effect. If you spray more water, you get this kind of spreading that's here. Um, and it's just about trial and error, really, because I don't think you could even cre recreate what you've done the first time. It's sort of... No, I, I must admit, I love it because um, the, you don't actually know what effect you're going to get. Bit like um, the jelly plate, isn't it? You never know what you'll get with that. No. So there you are. I've done my yellows and blues. I kind of love that. Oh, that's lovely. I like the um I like the different hexagons, the different colours. It's lovely. Yeah, the, that is definitely a nice colourway. I'm thinking I might need one more. I thought I was going for an odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which odd numbers normally work. It's funny with, with um kind of patch that's like a patchwork kind of pattern, isn't it? Sometimes it doesn't um so evens are probably No, I've got seven, but that's like a circle. If you Okay, have... how did you do yours then? You did yours one that in the middle. Way. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Aha. Yes. Very nice. And that's all, uh, yeah, I like how that's set out because it's all. Uh, that works, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So actually as a hexagon. So let's move all my little scraps out the way because then I've got a little, you see, I almost don't want to cover that lovely hexagon now because that's my photo covers it so it could go more random um, yeah it 
doesn't almost that but I mean I'm going to put that one in the middle because you can see some of the edges of it um or do I go one two three four what do you think about a few of them being 3D? Does it look better or do I just leave them flat? I do like the 3D effect, I must admit, Deb. Yeah. I'll possibly leave these two then. I have a photo here, but I'll do the rest 3D. So I think I can get away with that. And then I did like this um, is Daydream collection that we have in the shop. I'm inspired by your You Are My Sunshine um, cut bar, Deb. They yeah. have the same lyrics here. You. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Just in this lovely handwriting, mm -hmm. almost like a faded. And because he's eating a ice cream. You are my, I thought that might work. You are my sunshine. And Very then nice. I thought um, there's nothing like a few, these are sort of bluey, but it's the, it's the pastel blue. I would like the very light pastel blues that are going to work on this. You are my sunshine. Possibly. Ah, so you're using the scoreboards there, Deb. Yes. Yeah, because it's easier to fold it in half. So it's it was only a freebie with a card magazine, and I kept it, and it's quite handy for things like this. Because it's the right size, yes. Yeah, because you can just put it on the desk. We haven't got a lot of room, have we, on our desks? No, we've got a very small scrapping space, it's true. Literally right. 12 by 12. Now I've decided where I'm going to stick this. I'm just going to go straight in. Stick it down. Good old trusty ATG. So I actually have a spare hexagon in the end because the photo. Oh, yeah. So you don't need to cover it, do you? So I don't need the photo just hid because it's the size of the photo. So I thought, right, I won't waste it. I can use that on something else. See, my initial plan was going complete spectrum, having just complete rainbow colours. And then I thought I, I didn't even have enough of a purple that I really liked. I love the idea of a rainbow. Yeah, it's definitely on the to be one list. to do. And maybe yeah. with quite the mixed media rainbow background, possibly. Yeah, I want to... I've got on my list to do, I want to do a rainbow, a really nice mixed media rainbow. Like a whole page background. Yeah. I don't think it needs that one there, possibly. What do you think, Debbie? I, I was going to put that there to fill that space. Oh, I think that just finishes it off, actually. It brings it into yeah. that. Yeah, I like that. Normally, I go, oh, no, because it's not symmetrical. But no, that really works. It's lovely. It's because there's quite a lot of white space there, I think. Now, just just because I can, I'm going to put the title on phone. <laughs> oh, really? Know how... That's not no, that I <clears throat> know how i feel about phone well i'm debating putting my hexagons on phone actually oh right you're I've got thinking very tapey as well yeah 
you're thinking it is all about the fame. You are my, so I want the word sunshine there. Yep. That's come together fairly quickly for, yeah. I think those little cut files would take quite a while, but I think all in all, 20, 20 25 minutes or so. Yeah. Unless you're doing 3D triangles to go on the top. Yes, which obviously that is more labour intensive for sure. You are my sunshine. These are quick. It's quite effective, isn't it? I do. These titles, I have to say, are just um, so versatile. These and the Bramble Fox titles are just, and these, obviously, you've got lots of single words. Yeah. And there's a few different ranges from Cocoa Vanilla that are titles. The No Limits one has been popular as well you are my sunshine quite like these these are almost like watercolor that kind of go with the background well you've got these quirky hearts Just add lots of embellishments. It's not like you were tall, Faye. I know. Just like, I'll add a little bit more, just a bit more. I don't know whether to layer up onto the hexagons or maybe just a little couple down at the bottom here in this space, maybe. And I don't think those little watery ones are needed. These ones work down at the bottom. So if you've got an idea for a photo that you want to use on. Not. Maybe. Yeah, I've got a pile of photos that I want to use. Um, but it's which ones will match this. If you know Yes, I, mean. I went for this one just because the blue in the hat. So I thought that was why I went for this one. Just a little heart there, a little heart there. And I wonder if I've got any foamy bits or titles. I've got some, these are quite nice. This is P13. Um, sunshine on my mind. I quite like with these cutting them up so when the title's a bit long you're like oh that doesn't really go but if you yeah snip these and put them in little you can get away with yeah moonshine sort of frames the photo Sunshine on my mind. In the yellow. And it probably doesn't need much more. What, what do you think? No, I think that looks lovely. I'm just debating a bit of bunting with my leftover triangles because I think it's going to be too much. With oh, yeah, I could mostly I could go little bits of bunting under here. Oh, I like that. I might do very tiny bit of bunting just under here, maybe to add a bit of detail. I might put some here at the bottom because I can't really do much while it's so wet. Yes, because the background's still a bit damp. Yeah. 
So I could probably do very small bunting like this. In just one so I'm going to use that as a template for this I, I forget to just bunting again scrapping your scraps yeah it's a hand, really nice handmade to finish off isn't it handmade bunting one two and look piece in the blue right the basis is all there it's just frill i'm just going to add this bunting and then i think that is what you call speedy speedy scrap your scraps very speedy <laughs> the fastest scrapper in the west <laughs> <laughs> right nice little bit of detail at the bottom oh mm. cute very nice stick this in One. it's a little bit fiddly where are you going to put oh you've put your bunting at the top yeah, I've got two lots and I've got some at the bottom as well, just here. Might change that to yellow, actually, so it stands out a bit more. What, against the red? Yes. Yeah. You want the same warm tones, but just contrasting colour. And I might cut out some tiny hearts to put corresponding colours on the bunting as well. Yeah. Little tiny heart punch, I think. Wonderful. Lovely. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. Thank um, you. Have a lovely, scrappy weekend and um, keep uploading to the group um, as part of the Cyber Crop. And we've got uh, Claire Murphy's live tomorrow along with another challenge. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Hey, everyone.